Hey, what's up everyone? Today, Datasan would like to show you how to generate multiple QR codes with Power BI. In previous videos, we already introduced you several ways to generate QR codes. Uh, for example, you can generate QR codes with SharePoint and uh, Power Apps. And most recently, Datasan just created an online QR code generator so that you can also generate QR code right on our website as here you can see uh, you just input the QR code text for example here data sun and then you can uh, uh, configure the width and the height of the QR code and then the color of the QR code for example here we change the color of a QR code you read and now you have a very beautiful QR code here you then can also download the QR code and uh, we also include a video here so that you can uh, use the uh, power apps to read the, the QR code and the special thing about this tool is that uh, most of the code of the tool is written by chat gpt uh, so here uh, you can learn more about chat gpt is uh, a new chatbot developed by open ai so basically you can ask uh, this bot to write any code for you uh, follow us uh, so that you can get more videos on the uh, updates regarding the chat GPT. And now back to our main topic today is how to generate multiple QR codes with Power BI. So imagine that you have a long list of inventory items that you want to generate a QR code based on the inventory ID. As you may notice here we have the link for the QR code so basically uh, this link is the combination of uh, two elements the first element is uh, this link and then we combine with the uh, uh, the inventory ID uh, so you just uh, use this formula we will put this link into uh, the comment of our video for your ease of uh, reference. So as you can see here in our Excel file, we cannot uh, present this uh, QR code in uh, an image, but just a link. Uh, but we can present this link as an image in Power BI. So how to do this? Uh, firstly, we go into Power BI and then we import this Excel file into our data source. Uh, here we already have the inventory table, but now the, we will the reload this file again and it will generate uh, the same file but with uh, another name uh, just for the more purpose. And here you can see we we have the data here. Everything looks good. We don't need to transform the data. We just load the table. And now it is loading the table. And now you can see we have the inventory tool table here. Uh, we also create a new page and here you can expand the inventory table and then uh, firstly you create a table visual in this table visual you can add any uh, fields that you want to view in the table for example the inventory id inventory name inventory type uh, the quantity and the unit uh, the in charge person and then you can enlarge this one and the last important thing is the QR code 
as you can see here we cannot see the image yet uh, so what we need to do is we need to select the QR code from here and then we go into the uh, column tool column tool and then uh, you see he from here the format of the, uh, the data field is the text format and here we have the cate data category and you just select the image URL and boom you can see here the QR code so here you can change the position of the field within the table just raise and drop we have here already the video to show you how to create the QR code or barcode reader with power apps we hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips. Thank you.